think it's you, your mama, your daddy, your uncle, your sisters, and all your goddamn children needs to go to be need to be in the front line of the war. <laughs> Listen, I'm laughing. I'm laughing because of this video that I'm about to show you. And I don't know which normal human being will be thinking this way. Which normal human being will be thinking this way? Listen, I don't want to talk much. Let's go into the video. Let's watch. And after that, I have some stitches on TikTok that people also stitched to this particular video and i'll play those ones too to you it's just crazy how people think in this world let's go think they should only draft poor people for war because rich people's lives matter more and i just don't think it's very fair for people who have built up an amazing life for them to have to go to war like we put our children through private schools we shouldn't have to waste all that money on private education just to be told we have to join the army like all the other poor people. Rich people have the opportunity to live rich, fulfilling lifestyles, to go on holiday when they want, to do whatever they want. Why should they have to give all that up just to go to war when there are plenty of poor people who have nothing better to do with their lives? Like how many unemployed people are there out there that choose not to work? Like give them a job, give them a job in the army and actually, being blown up by Russia would probably be a lot better than the life they lead currently. And another thing, why don't we just take people out of prisons and like give them something to do with their time? They're just a waste of taxpayers' money anyway. So my message to NATO is, and Richie Sunak, leave the rich people out with this, okay? This has got nothing to do with them. So you just woke up and decided, instead of taking your kids to play in a sandbox, you was going to play in our faces? You decided to walk out into this world and to fix your lips to say rich people lives matter more than those amongst us who have the least. And you 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 justify this by saying <laughs> y'all pay for private school education. Somehow you think because the money came directly out of your pocket and you have a higher education that you sit on a higher pedestal than everyone else. Somehow you think that makes you superior to your fellow human being. And this, if you ask me, will eventually be your downfall. True capitalism at its best. And I think you need to stop rage farming. Have a day you deserve. You have got to be fucking kidding. Please tell me you're kidding. You know, money is a made up human construct, right? 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 I don't think you do. No. We used to live in a world where money didn't even exist. We as humans, not us particularly because we're living in the time that we are now, but money used to not even be a thing. And war was duty because warring clans and all of that. Yeah. The fact that you are standing on this fucking soapbox, and I, I really hope this is not the hill you're willing to fucking die on, lady. I really hope this isn't the hill that you're willing to die on because mm, your morals and values are definitely fucking showing and they are not good in any way. This is evil fucking talk. This is evil talk. The fact that you think homeless people and poor people are beneath you and are the ones that should have to go to war instead of you and your kids. How about we just take out all of the leaders and the global elite rich ass people who make money off of these wars? Because you, my dear, as a rich person, are not more important than me as a poor person. In case you didn't know. Sorry to break it to you. God, this makes me so mad. You've... Oh, my God. I cannot literally believe I just heard what came out of your fucking mouth. I can't. I literally can't. Because if you were just a decent human being, just... just a decent human being, you wouldn't be saying even remotely close to what you are saying. God, the nerve of fucking rich people. You go ahead and keep complaining. 
keep complaining about how you spend all of that money on your children's private school education. They're going to get drafted anyways, unless you start standing up to your government and telling them no, no more wars, because they just make money off of them anyways. It's an evil money game. Yeah. I'm currently fighting censorship and misinformation and disinformation by our mainstream media here in America. What are you doing? Getting on a fucking soapbox complaining that all of the poor people should have to go to war and nobody else? Fuck you. And your feelings. I have no sympathy for you. And uh, I suggest you start fighting back. Instead of blaming it on other people telling other people that they should have to pick up your slack, your fucking slack. God, some people's fucking kids. Stay safe, stay awake, stay alive. Hi, how are you? I just wanted to say this really, really quick, and then I'm going to go and take my shower and get ready for work tomorrow. Um, I see you're a content creator, and your um, your negativity is, is great to you. Yeah, um, I just want to say this. Um, don't ever come on this platform and ask us to pray for you or if something goes wrong in your in your life and you decide to straighten up and think we're going to be fair with you. Don't ever need anything and we're the only ones you can turn to because you know what? You're never going to get the love from us off this platform. So keep baiting yourself. Go ahead, I'm going to... I'm going to go take a shower. Have the day you deserve. So you're saying only poor people should go to war when it's the rich bastards that's sitting up on their fat asses up there in Washington and over in England that are causing this war. How about this? How about the rich people that cause this war go fight this fucking war? Hey, hey, hey. I'm done with work. Took two of my kids to the doctor. My daughter, I told you she was sick yesterday, running fever. And the oldest is doing better. She left for her dad's house. So, did you guys hear what that lady said? <laughs> she think they should only draw poor people for war. This is why I was saying that all those rich people, all those corporation mothers, all those politicians, all of them and their children need to be at the front line of every war that they create because it's because of their greediness. And their selfishness, we are going through what we are going all over the freaking world. Those rich us and those those warmonger politicians. Yes, those warmonger politicians, the whole entire Pentagon, the whole entire Congress, um, personal, everybody needs, they all need to go to war. They all need to be in the front line of every war with all of their fucking children it's your fucking enemy that's going to get blown up by russian it's not going to be us just because we are poor or middle class or low class that don't mean we don't have no feelings or we don't have no heart or we are not human like the fuck all those money y'all have is stealing it from everybody else because y'all can't even give normal be um employer um the li a livable wages for them to evil to be able to leave and you have the audacity to be talking about i think it's only poor people that you go to work no i think it's you your mama your daddy your uncle your sisters and all your goddamn children needs to go to be need to be in the front line of the war because all y'all forgot the reason why there's war and why there's a killing all over the freaking world so, British citizens, the poor British people, I feel sorry for all your asses right now. Because what the rich people are going to do is send your asses to the front line so Russia can blow you guys up. I will post the whole entire video that she was talking about. Ridiculous. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. The audacity and the caucasity these people be having. Thinking that because people ain't got that much money as they have, that we are not, we are we, we are not meant to be alive. No, we are meant to be uh, to be blown up. Is that what you really think? Because all that money you got is because of we. It's because of us that work our asses off. 
It's because of us. Minimum wages is absolutely ridiculous. Have you guys heard about the federal minimum wages? In, 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 in the federal minimum wages is like seven dollars or something. Said like the, like the fuck. And I heard that Judge um, Atlanta is going to increase the um, the minimum wage um, to I think it, is it is it um, seventeen or twenty dollars in the next couple months because they are talking about it. But it's still not freaking enough. When everything else is going up, these rich people, man, these rich people are getting on my nerve. They are literally getting on my nerve. We need to stand together and actually get rid of all of their freaking asses. Seriously, I am so exhausted of this in planet, the curl planet Earth, and all these inhuman motherfucking humans. So how can you tell me this? Like, they should allow only poor people. Because they don't have anything doing with their lives. First of all, as people said in the stitches, let me ask, this war and whatever that is about to go on or that, that has been happening in the world, who, who causes all these things in this world? It is the same rich people and like the rich folks that we have in the world. They, they are the same people who have been causing these wars. So. What is she talking about? Like, help me understand that I'm sure the way the world sees Africa, for instance, they will tell all Africans to go, go and fight these wars for them because we, you know, all the time they say we are poor. It's crazy. How can you even be thinking this way? How? How? Like, how? Seriously, how? Damn, like people, people think in certain ways that you try to know how they think and you you still can't get your head around it. No, like Charlie, <laughs> someone should talk to her. Somebody should talk to her because what she's saying is just crazy. Charlie, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.